So I have recently been collecting a lot of yarns and I used to never be this type of person that I would just uncontrollably buy yarn. I've always bought my yarn with a purpose for each yarn and the project and I still am that way. You know, like every time I buy yarn I think, oh, okay, this is going to be used for XYZ. But recently I've discovered knit, not knit, crocheting with natural fibers and uh, you know like wool, alpaca, cashmere and I'm just absolutely in love now and I went to my first yarn shop the other day um, and it was an all natural fiber yarn store so I I really enjoyed it yeah <laughs> so anyway but I did want to show you some of the yarns I got and just so I can kind of plan out my next couple of projects I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more yarn until I finished at least three projects so Hopefully that will help me control my spending a little bit. But anyway, let's hop into it. I got this Bernat Softy Cotton yarn. Should you the label? It's Bernat Softy Cotton in the shade Warm Red. And I got eight of these and I bought four of them to make a overall like a little jumpsuit for my mom. And then I bought the other four to make a lacy like type summery cardigan for myself and to go along with my mom's overall set i got this peach color so i could make myself a pair of matching overalls so me and my mom could match um i've already made hers i just have to make mine now yeah so this yarn is 60 percent cotton and 40 percent acrylic and it is category three lightweight i worked with this yarn for my squirt video i've also made a top and a pair of shorts um, out of this yarn in a different color uh, so I really enjoy it I'm I've been getting this from Joann's because it was on sale for a while for only $2.99 that's why I have so much of it and why I'm using it for so many of my projects but anyway on to the next one also from Joann's I saw this when it was on sale and it's the Karen Simply Soft Party yarn and it has sparkles in it guys like I'm a sucker for glittery yarn and I don't even know what I'm going to do with it exactly. Like, I think I do know. So this is the color Silver Sparkle. And I think I'm going to make a hoodie with it. So I'm really excited to do that. I got, I think, I got the last ones that were on sale. So I think it's about six or seven of them. And I'm going to make a, like a, a big hoodie. So I'm really excited. Um, I feel like I can kind of put this project on the back burner a little bit because it's not cold enough to wear hoodies yet so I'm not really too pressed back into this one but I have a beach strip plan in a couple weeks and I want to have the overalls done so me and my mom can match when we're down at the beach in our overalls and I want to have the red cardigan done so I can wear that over top of my swimsuit so this is a package that I actually ordered from Joann's I got this yarn because it was on sale and I know exactly what I want to make with it So I got this is pretty. So I got four of these True Boo 100% rayon from Bamboo Yarn, and they are Lion Brand. I got these because they were on sale, and I know exactly what I want to do with them. I want to make another skirt. It's going to be pink shorts, and the skirt part is going to be pink and white houndstooth. And I'm super excited. I'm going to make this as a surprise for my sister. So this is in the color white and light pink. So I'm really excited. This yarn is super soft. And it has like a nice sheen to it. Because like, it's bamboo so it has really nice drapes. So I think I'm super excited to be able to work with this. It's a lightweight yarn. It's only a category 3. So this is a project I do want to kind of get to before... Um, while it's still warm out because you can wear it because I mean it's like a skirt I, I don't want to make it when it's super cold outside but you know fall I think would be good I think this is gonna look really good in the springtime though this is everything we've gone through so far <laughs> and lastly what I got from Joann's I got this 
big twist velour it's like a velvet yarn i got it in the color gray and i got it in the color black and i'm going to make a blanket so i got i think six of these in gray two of these in black and i'm gonna make a blanket gray blanket with a black edging and that is a project i'm doing for my mom so i'm i'm not I think I'm gonna work this up in the moss stitch or maybe the granny stitch just because it's velvet I know it's gonna be super hard to see my stitches and with those you work more into the chain space and not the actual chain itself so I think that's what I'm gonna do I think that's how I'm gonna do it so when I went to the yarn store um, they had this pink like a light pink cashmere yarn that was on sale and um, I did buy it. It was on sale for only $15, so I got two skeins of it. And I would love to show it to you now, but I've already used it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get the project I use it so you can see. Okay, so I made this super, super beautiful cashmere infinity scarf. And it's in the moss stitch. So I thought that kind of gave it like a knitted look. Anyway, put it on for you. Yeah, I think it's really cute. It's super soft. And this is the first thing that I ever made with like 100% natural fiber yarn. Um, so I'm really proud of it. I just feel like this is kind of a sentimental piece at this point. This being the first thing I ever made with like 100% of like a natural yarn and not something that's just acrylic or cotton. Even though cotton is technically I guess a natural yarn, but even before that I don't think I ever worked with 100% cotton. It's always been like a blend of something like cotton and acrylic or cotton and rayon or something like that. But anyway, yeah, this is the first thing I made. It's the cashmere, and it is a light pink color with the a little bit of edging on there and the moss stitch. And I think it's just super cute and a nice staple piece so I'll be able to add and layer a coat over top of. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so the next thing that I got from the yarn store, the yarn shop, I absolutely love and I'm just so excited to be able to like show it on camera and it's so soft it's this what is this Ciro Arethio Arethral Beauty from the Fiber Company it is a brush blend of Siri alpaca organic cotton and merino wool so it's 40% alpaca 40% cotton 20% wool and just look that is so beautiful it's so 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 beautiful I got four four skeins guys I got four and my hope is to be able to make a short sleeve like cardigan top like maybe like three-quarter sleeve um but yeah but super cute I just I love this yarn it's so 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 soft and I've had it for like a week now and the whole time I've just wanted to find to to wind it up I've just been like oh I should I should wind it up and so some balls but I just I'm not doing that because I know I have two other projects I want to finish within the next two weeks and if I wind this and start a new project I know I'm not gonna finish the other two that I really need to finish so I'm kind of waiting oh you know what I should do I should finish the two projects that I'm working on before I go to the beach and then bring this with me to the beach and crochet on the beach in the morning. Like uh, um, Kobe Callie did in her vlog with her sisters. Yeah, I might bring this with me to the beach and start the sweater. Or I'll bring something else. I don't know yet. But anyway, so that is this. These were only $14 a piece. And this is the color graceful um but these were only $14 a piece and I did look it up online to make sure I could get more if I ran out because this were the last four they had at my local yarn shop 
so um, I can get some more online if I need to. But I just, I just can't get over the way this feels. It's so soft. I think it's the, the brushed alpaca which gives it because it's kind of got like some fuzziness going on. Like, see, it's kind of fuzzy. Oh, that color is just so gorgeous. I can't get over it. So I went to a yarn shop today. And I actually went to two. The first one I wasn't really feeling too much, so I drove over to the second one that I was going to visit. And I found some really great stuff there. The yarn was a bit more on the pricey side, but I still bought it anyway. Um, okay, so this first one is really gorgeous. Okay, ready? Ah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look, it's got sparkles in it. Oh my goodness, this is just so beautiful. I saw this and they had so many colors in this particular yarn. It's called Nebula. It's fingering weight. Um, and it is in the color Nimbus. It's just, it's like glows on camera. It's so pretty. It's just in pretty in person. Um, but yeah, they had like yellow, red, dark green, dark blue. Um, green I think I think I already, did I already say that I can't remember but they had this in a lot of different colors so if I like working with this yarn I'm definitely going to go back and make something else with it and so this was this specific one was $30 and then the second one I got to pair with it get ready for it bam it is so pretty Look at that. Look at those colors. It's just so beautiful. It looks like a Monet painting. So I'm gonna pair these two together. Look how pretty those look together side by side. Aren't these so beautiful? So I'm gonna make a shawl with these. It's gonna be super luxurious. Oh, this one was also $30. And this is the Ushtika, Ushtita Fiber Art Moreno Singles. It is 100% superwash merino wool, and I think this is also 100%, no, this is 84% superwash merino and 16% sparkling Stellina. And I'm not exactly sure which color this is, but it's like a dark blue mainly, and then it's got like these little sparks of color. You know, I might actually take this one, this project, to the beach instead. Uh, these are both fingering weight yarns. They're super soft. I'm absolutely in love with them. Um, I think they just look so good together. Um, I'm gonna make like a semi-circle type shawl with this and I'm gonna have the color change like stagger into like from this color, no starting in this color and then ending in this color at the bottom. So I'm super excited to work with this. So I'm definitely and I think I'm definitely becoming a natural fibers girl. Uh, just like Kopi Callie over on her channel, how she just started using natural fibers, I'm like right with you there. Um, there's just something about knitting with something that feels so high quality and like not cheap and I know it's not really going to like pill or um, other types. I don't know, I just absolutely love it. I'm just so addicted to this. I wish I could start this right now. I want to start this shawl this very moment, but I have other stuff to work on, unfortunately. But yes, I want to start this right now. These are both in 400, 400 yards, so hopefully I'll have enough to make my shawl. This is probably the most expensive garment that I'm gonna that I've ever made. I mean, working with natural fibers is a bit more expensive, so I guess in that way, it will help me to not buy as much yarn because I'll be more planning for certain projects like each project was going to require more planning because i'll have to you know budget it out if i can afford to make it or not like for example this shawl is 66 dollars you know that cashmere scarf was 30 you know so it's not just something i can go on a whim and just go and buy a bunch of it at, you know like how you would maybe at Joann's or Michael's when you're buying yarn how you can just be like oh I want this and I want that and it's only like three dollars for each ball of yarn these are you know fifteen thirty dollars for yarn so I guess in that way it is good um, if you're trying to 
slow yourself down and pace yourself and not just buy yarn like crazy, I would suggest that you go for natural fibers because you won't be able to buy it like crazy <laughs> unless you're like super rich. Um, but anyway, so this is all the yarn I've collected within the last, I want to say month and a half. Um, yeah, so those are all the products I have planned. Hopefully I'll be able to make videos on it. I didn't record myself making any of my mom's overalls, but I really should have because um, that way I could have shown what it looks like on in two different sizes. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this yarn haul. Um, if there's any particular project that I mentioned in the video that you would like to see a video on, let me know. I'll try and make that happen.